New speaking questions of the IELTS speaking test for 2021. Ambitions. What kinds of ambitions do people have? Why should parents encourage children to have ambitions? Should parents interfere with children's ambitions? Is there any difference between children's ambitions and those of grown-ups? Arguments. What do family members usually have arguments about? Is it easier for you to have arguments with your family or with your friends? What are the best ways to avoid arguments? What causes arguments between countries? Boredom. When do people feel bored? What can people do when they feel bored? Why do people get bored with daily routines? Are younger people more likely to feel bored than old people? Clothes do you think what people wear can influence their mood? Do you think it is a good idea to buy clothes online? What kind of clothes do people wear for work? What are the differences between clothes worn by old people and those by young people? Cities. Why do more and more people live in the city? How does this affect the environment and nature? What are some factors that attract people to move to cities? Do you think old people like to live in cities? Companies. Should big companies be punished more seriously if they break the law? Should big companies donate more to charities? What are the good things about working for a big company? What are the differences between big companies and small companies? Conversations. Do people communicate more when they talk face to face? What do young people have conversations about? Do people have conversations more or less than they did in the past? How important is it to be good at communication at work? Decisions. What decisions do people make every day? Why do people make decisions? Can children make decisions on their own? When do people change their decisions? Encouraging others. How can managers encourage their employees? When should parents encourage their children? What kind of encouragement should parents give? Do you think some people are better than others at motivating others? Getting lost. What are some reasons why people get lost? Why do some people get lost more easily than others? How can people find their way when they are lost? Do you think it is important to do some preparation before you travel to new places? Handcrafts. What traditional handcrafts are popular in your country? What do young people think of traditional handcrafts? Do people in your country send handcrafts as gifts? What are the benefits of making handcrafts? Helping each other. How do people usually help each other? How is online help different from real life help? Should schools be responsible for teaching students how to cooperate? What are the differences between help from friends and help from family? Humor. Do people like to watch comedy TV shows? Why do people of all ages like cartoons? Why do some people like to make others laugh? Should teachers tell jokes in class? Jobs. What kind of jobs are most popular with young people in your country? What should people consider when choosing jobs? Do children like to choose the same profession as their parents? Do you think many people regret their career choices when they become older? Movies. Are films a waste of money? Are movie stars important to a movie? Are foreign movies popular in your country? Is it important that a country has its own movies? Music. What kind of music do people like at different ages? What kind of music is popular in your country now and what kind will be in the future? Do Chinese parents require their children to learn to play musical instruments? Why do some people like to listen to live music while others prefer CDs? Music concerts. Why do many young people spend a lot of money on music concerts? Do you think older people like the same music as young people? Do you think music concerts are suitable for old people to attend? Why do shopping malls often have background music? Remembering things. What kinds of things do people forget easily? What kinds of people are more forgetful? How can people improve their memory? Can technology be used to help us remember to do things? News. Where do people get the news in your country? What kind of news do people like to read? How can companies tell the public it's news? What do you think of the news on social media? Phones. 
How do young and old people use mobile phones differently? What positive and negative impact do mobile phones have on friendship? Is it a waste of time to take pictures with mobile phones? Do you think it is necessary to have laws on the use of mobile phones? Plans. What sort of plans do young people often have to make? Should parents make plans for their children? When should children start to make plans for themselves? What plans do countries need to make? Promises. What kinds of promises do people often make? Do parents in your country make promises to their children? Why do some people fail to keep their promises? Do you think older people keep their promises more than younger people do? Public places. What public places are common in cities in your country? Do cities need to have more public places than towns? What public places do old people usually go to? Do you think there will be more outdoor public places in the future? Puzzles. What kind of puzzles are popular in your country? Should parents encourage their children to play with puzzles? What kinds of puzzles improve people's intelligence? Why do people enjoy solving puzzles? Physical work. What kinds of jobs need a lot of physical work? What is the difference between the payment for physical work and that for mental work? Will physical workers receive higher salaries in the future? Do you think machines could replace human workers in the future? School rules. What kinds of rules do schools in your country have? What can teachers do to make students obey rules? What should parents do to educate children about the laws of your country? Does your country have any laws you do not agree with? C. What are the advantages and disadvantages of vacations to the seaside? Why do people like spending time on the sea? Do children like the sea more than adults? What types of job positions can be found on or near the sea? Sharing. Do you like to share? What are the consequences if children do not like to share? How do you feel about sharing accommodation with others on campus? How could parents and teachers teach young children to share? Shopping. How often do people in your country go shopping? Why is online shopping popular? How should sellers set prices for their products? Do you think online shopping will replace shopping in stores? Smiling. Do you think people who like to smile are more friendly? Why do most people smile in photographs? Do women smile more than men? Do people smile more when they are younger or older? Social media Why do people like to use social media? What kinds of things are popular on social media? What are the advantages and disadvantages of using social media? What do you think of making friends on social network? Talent. What types of talent do children often have? What are the best ways to cultivate talent in children? Is it possible for us to know whether children who are three or four years old will become musicians and painters when they grow up? Why do people like to watch talent shows on television? Tall buildings. What are the disadvantages of living in tall buildings? Do you think there will be more tall buildings in the future? Why aren't there many tall buildings in the countryside? Why do some people like to live in tall buildings nowadays? Valuable items. What things do families keep for a long time? What's the difference between things valued by people in the past and today? What kinds of things are kept in museums? What is the influence of technology on museums? Waiting in line. Do people in your country often wait in line? Why do some people jump the queue? Who do people react when someone jumps the queue? Do you think the development of technology has reduced the time people spend on waiting? Weather. What do people wear in different weather? How does the weather influence people's life? Why are weather forecasts often unreliable? Are there any festivals about seasons in your country? Working in foreign countries. What kind of work can young people do in foreign countries? Is it good for young people to have the experience of living in other countries? Why are some people unwilling to work in other countries? What's the difference between working in an international company and working in a domestic one? All right, so I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you found it useful. If you did, make sure you've liked it. And even better, subscribe to me so that you'll get my upcoming videos about part two questions, part three questions, 
and also some skills and strategies for taking the IELTS speaking test.